What's up guys Anil here from Learning Lad Education and welcome to another tutorial on Java programming language. In the previous tutorials we have learned about the methods in Java. You know we have learned how to create the methods, how to pass parameters to the methods, how to return values from the methods. And all of you know that whenever we create methods in uh, Java, you know if you define the method with two parameter then while calling that method you have to pass two arguments similarly if you are defining a method with one parameter then while calling that method you have to pass one parameter for example if i create the method here for example we're gonna create a, a simple method it's gonna be having the void return type and we're gonna call it as display and let's assume that this display method is gonna take one parameter for example uh, num our number and then uh, we're gonna write the code inside this uh, display method and while calling this display method in our program we have to pass one argument for example in my uh, main method if i want to call this display method then i should pass one integer value and uh, in java it is possible to define a method which can take variable number of arguments what i mean by that is we're gonna create a method which can take uh, one parameter or two parameter or three parameter or any number of parameters so here we're gonna define our method which is gonna take variable number of parameters so first we need to write the uh, modifier part so it's gonna be public static then we can have to write the return type let's call it as void and then uh, we need to give the method name let me call it as display and now our display method is going to take variable number of parameters so to make a method to take variable number of parameters in this parameter part first we need to specify the type of data taken by this method and here let's say it's going to be integer type and then we need to use something called ellipses which is nothing but three dots and then we need to specify that variable name so i'm just going to call it as numbers now our this display method can take variable number of parameters so i'm just going to explain that uh, in a moment but now here this numbers this parameter is going to take variable number of arguments and uh, you know it can take uh, one value or it can take two value or any number of values when we define a method which is going to take variable number of parameters at that time the parameter which is responsible for receiving variable number of parameters which is nothing but this numbers is going to act as an array inside this display method so we can use this numbers just like the array actually it is an array so we can check the length of this numbers arrays so that we can check how many parameters are passed so i'm going to use a if statement here and we're going to check if numbers dot length property you know which is going to give the number of elements uh, which are in this numbers array if it is zero then it's going to mean that this numbers array contains no elements else if it is not zero then it's going to contain some elements so here inside this if part what we're going to do is we're going to use a print line statement so it's going to be system dot out dot print line and then we're going to say no parameters and then in this else part what we're going to do is we're just going to print out all the elements for that we're going to use a for each loop so i'm going to use for and here uh, if you know that uh, how to use the for each loop with the arrays i have made a specific tutorial on that if you guys don't know about them then just watch the tutorial and then come back to this one so here we're going to create an uh, integer variable let's call it as num and we're going to loop through all the elements of this numbers array and then we're just going to use a print line statement so it's going to be system dot out dot print line and we're just going to um, print out the value which will be in this num variable now we can call this display method from our main method and we can pass as many arguments we want 
if you want you can pass no arguments at all or if you want to pass two arguments then you guys can pass two arguments otherwise if you want to pass 10 values then you can pass 10 arguments so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this display method you know display method with no arguments then I'm gonna run this program now you guys can see here no parameters that's because i have made the spelling uh, mistake here and you guys can see here our program is working properly since this numbers array is going to contain no elements at all uh, you know this length property is going to return the value of zero and that's why this if block statements will be executed and it's going to print out no parameters at all now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change that one to no so now this variable number of parameter is of integer type which means we can only pass integer type of data here so i just gonna pass uh, let's say three arguments and also here this parameter which is responsible for receiving variable number of parameters is of integer type we have specified int here and that's why the variable number of arguments that we're gonna pass should be of integer type so here we can pass as many integer type of data we can't pass a floating point type of data or you know a character data or a string data we can only pass integer type of data now i'm gonna run this program and now you guys can see here we get uh, 22 33 66 that's because this if condition is returning false because this numbers is going to contain the length of three and that's why this else part is executed and because of this for each loop we're going to be printing all the elements which are passed to this numbers array so now what happens when we call this display method and pass variable number of arguments is java is gonna group all these arguments into an array and it's gonna pass that so this numbers is gonna receive an array and that's why this numbers is gonna act as an array inside this display method another thing is when you define a method which can take variable number of parameters at that time while calling that method you can only pass one type of data as a variable number of arguments what i mean by that is here we have this numbers parameter which is responsible for receiving you know variable length of parameters is of integer type and that's why we can only pass integer types of data as a variable parameters so i can't pass a string value here for example let's say anil this is gonna result in error as you guys can see here now another thing that i want you guys to teach you is while defining a method which can take variable number of parameters at that time if you want you can have some other normal parameters what i mean by that is here we can make this display method to take some other normal parameters which are nothing but for example let's say we're gonna receive a string value first and then we're gonna receive a double value for example let's say average now our display method here is gonna take at least two parameters so the first parameter is gonna be of string type and then the second parameter is, should be of double type and then if you pass any other parameters then they should be of integer type so here now to call this display method i should pass at least two arguments so my first argument should be of type uh, string so i'm just gonna pass anil and then i should pass a double value and then if i want i can pass any number of integer values so before running this program what we're gonna do is inside this display method we're just gonna print out the values uh, which we receive for this name and average so i'm gonna use the print line statement so it's gonna be system.out.println and we're gonna say name and then i'm just gonna copy this print line statement and i'm gonna paste it again and this time we're gonna display the value stored in this uh, average now i'm gonna run this and now you guys can see here uh, our first parameter is string value which is anil and then we have the second uh, parameter which is uh, the double type so it's gonna be 22.36 which is printed and then we have three integer values 
and uh, that is printed here now i can call this display method with the only two parameters so i'm just gonna remove this and i'm gonna run this and you guys can see here uh, this anil is printed which is the first parameter you know for this name and then uh, we have this 22.36 which is for this average and then we haven't passed any other parameters and that's why this numbers is gonna re receive an array with no elements at all and uh, that's why this length property is gonna return uh, zero so this if condition is gonna result in true and that's why it prints out no parameters so make sure that when you use the parameter which is going to take variable number of parameters in the method you know that parameter should be at the end so here this numbers should be used after all the normal type of parameters so i can't place this numbers in the beginning here and then i can have this name and average parameters and if i do like that then it's going to result in error and another thing or the last thing that i want you guys to teach you in this tutorial is you can have only one parameter which can take variable number of arguments so here i have this numbers and it can take variable number of arguments so i can't have another parameter for example uh, string and then uh, we're gonna say uh, names you know i can't have this names here so we can uh, only use one parameter which can take variable number of arguments so this is it guys this is about the methods with variable length of parameters and also while creating the methods with variable length of parameters make sure that the parameter which is responsible for receiving the variable number of arguments should be placed at the end or should be the last parameter of that method and also when you pass variable length of arguments you know that argument should be of same type so here you can uh, see for this numbers we can only pass the variable length of integer values i can't pass integer float character values so this is it guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and also you guys can uh, like my facebook page and stay updated with whatever i post it's gonna be at uh, facebook.com slash learning lad and also you guys can uh, tweet me on twitter at uh, learning lad edu and uh, once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial